Hey guys and welcome to this little video on the Mumbo channel. Today we are going to be doing a review of the Yamaha HS7 studio monitors. Now before we start I just want to answer a commonly asked question, why are these things called monitors? Monitors are screens and these definitely aren't screens. Well to put it plainly these differ ever so slightly from your average run of the mill speakers. They are specifically designed for production applications such as recording studios, radio shows or in my case home studios. Now they are special because they reproduce the audio accurately, designed to have a minimal emphasis on certain frequencies. Is it overkill for a small Minecraft YouTuber like myself to own such a specialist piece of kit? Absolutely. Does that mean that this was a silly purchase? Not particularly. Having the ability to listen to my audio back without various frequencies being emphasised has allowed me to manipulate my commentary far better than I ever had done before. Now onto the products themselves. As I mentioned in the unboxing video, these are fantastic in the looks department, especially in this matte white finish. I really do feel they add something to my current setup, especially sat on top of the MS200 studio monitor stands. In terms of build quality, I would define them as being solid. They are fairly heavy to carry around, coming in at around about 8.2 kilograms or 18.1 pounds for those of you across the pond, which may be something to consider if you're going to be on the move quite a bit, but rest assured if you are going to be transporting them, you're going to be pretty hard pushed to damage them as they certainly don't feel flimsy. Now onto the crown jewels, the gonads of the video as it were, how do they actually sound? Well what can I say, I personally think they sound absolutely brilliant. With the 1 inch tweeter and 6.5 inch woofer working in harmony to produce audio that is crisp, clean and clear, I can't help but be impressed. No frills, no bass boost, just an accurate and linear response. But what did you expect? These are a relatively pricey bit of kit coming in at just over £300 for the pair, but in the mid range I can safely assume that the HS5 sound a tad worse and the HS8 sound a tad better, although I haven't personally tested either. Qualitative data is all well and good, but how about we get some quantitative bits in there for you professionals? So the frequency range of the HS7 audio monitors is from 43Hz to 30kHz with a crossover occurring at 2kHz. The output power is 95 watts divided into 60 watt for the low frequency and 35 for the high. It is a bass reflex system, which for those of you who aren't in the know, that means that the speaker has an opening at the back, which increases the efficiency of the system at low frequencies. Power consumption is 60 watts in total, and there are various controls at the back of the device that will allow you to adjust various bits such as level control and the high trim and room control switches. Finally, the dimensions of the monitors are 21cm wide, 33cm tall and 28cm deep, so they aren't exactly pocket sized. Hopefully that is enough numbers and information to satisfy even the biggest of tech heads out there, and if you do want some more, I'll put some links down in the description to all of the websites they're selling them. But now for my somewhat underqualified verdict, if you are looking for a pair of audio monitors at a reasonably good price that look fantastic and perform well, look no further than the Yamaha HS7s. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.